Hello, wonderful boy. Here I am. Today I'm going to make uh, this card. It's uh, a three and a half by three and a half inch uh, card. And uh, I already drew out my uh, well painting. And I'm going to trace it uh, with this pen. Um, this, this is a uni pen. And it's a uh, 0.2 uh, millimeters. And I'm going to trace it. And then I'm going to dry it and erase the pencil lines. And then I'm going to watercolor it in. And um, this is for the uh, three and a half by three and a half inch art card challenge from the international crafters. So I hope you will enjoy. I just uh, drew these uh, out of my head, so I'm now going to trace them. I'm sorry I'm a bit quiet, but well, I'm very concentrated right now. I just want to have them, well, a little bit perfect. Because I just love my drawing and I don't want to mess it up. So if you would like to join this challenge or just uh, join the Facebook group of International Crafters, you can. I will put a link to the International Crafters Facebook group in the description box below. So have a look and join in on the fun.
I don't think I have everything. But I forgot to draw some leaves on this one. So I'm going to draw them anyway. And they're going to be a little bit boldy. This. Um, well, I'm just going to do it like this. We have to have some uh, I don't know how you call it, but we call it uh, Nerven So the plants can get their food I will also put up speed video, so if this is taking too long for you, don't hesitate and just watch the speed video. That's okay. I just want you to enjoy yourself, because, well, I want to. My dogs are a little bit snappy tonight. So, I'm just uh, going to dry it and then uh, erase the pencil lines and then I will be right back. Hello, I'm back again. Well, I finished it all up and if you can see, uh, it's a little bit erased also, but I like this look. So I'm just going to leave it like this and I'm going to uh, paint it in and I see I just have to put on a little bit more water. I'm going to put away my eraser, sorry about that. So I'm just going to... Uh, Water up my brushes. And I think I just want to do one color. Or do I do more colors in this one? No, I think I just want one color. So I'm going to do this color. Oh, you can't see it. Yes, now you can see it. All of them, yes. 
and you can see my paper yes now you can so I'm going to water it up color it up and then just looking if yes maybe it looks like this and then go in like this and then I think I want this one also this color Just a little bit more on the brush. It's getting a little bit dark and, and well you can see it very well but I'm going to turn on my light so so I can see better. Yes, that's better. So I'm done with this color for now. So the next color I would want. Uh, I think I do this color and this color. So I'm just going to begin with this one. I've got a lot of water in it, so I'm just going to do this, yes, then go back again, yes, like this. Uh, well, now I have to use another color. And I wanted this to be a pansy, so I'm going to choose another color. Uh, I'll just stay in the same color range. And uh, well, this color. I forget to blot off my uh, pen, uh, my uh, pencil. I wanted to say uh, brush. It's a brush in that in English. It's a pencil in Dutch. So sorry about the misunderstanding, but. So I hope you liked this video, I'm liking it, so just That's better. And again, back in 
to this color. Then I still want to be in the same color scheme, so I'm going to use this color. I'm just going to let it dry because I want to shadow it here with the other color. Um, well, we just have to do these two. And I think I want uh, this one to be pink. Right pink, and then I think uh, I'm going to use uh, maybe try and blend them in here. I don't know if that will work, but we'll see. Just getting some color. And then blending them together and it's working so just perfect So I'm going to let that one dry also, because there's a lot of water on it. And then what colors do I use for this, this one? Well, maybe some... Well, I want to use these for the leaves and the stems, and this one for the background too. Well, it leaves us with brown and black. Well, um, we're going for a little black pointy, pointy thing. Yes. Got all the colors of the rainbow in here, so can't mix anything else. Maybe just use this purple because it's a different purple than the other ones, so or the other one because I mixed that up. very beautiful so I'm just going to go in 
I wanted to shade uh, this one here with this color, so look, that's beautiful. It's a little bit more. Well, maybe that's a little bit too much. Just a little. Yes, here it's drier. Got more pigment in my brush. So, that's going very well, isn't it? So, now for the next step. I'm going to do the stems and the leaves just with this color. Well... It's a little bit hard with this brush, but I manage. Maybe then just a couple of spots, then I have to clean my brush. Very nice. And then I'm going to use the smaller brush for the leaves. First I'm going to use the same color, but they have uh, oh, they got a hair. Yes, I got it. And that's what you're going to have when you have animals in your crop room. So, sorry about that. But I just like the company. Next a little leaf
last year smudged some. So I'm just going to try and rub that out there before I go in again. Yes, that seems to work. Just going to take the bigger brush for this one. I'm learning also. I hope you like it. Yes, now this one. I think I'm going to use the little brush again. So now for the darker grey.
see a smudged here, so I'm just going to dab that off. Look, it's getting lighter already. So now it's gone. And then I'm going to do the sky, and I want it this uh, blue. So I'm just doing this. It's very light. I like that light color. So It's going to darken it up a little bit here. That's for the the shadow uh, thingy. Just a, a little bit more water. Yes. Yes. That's better because this is too much.
know this brush is much easier. So sorry for me being so quiet, but well, I'm very concentrated. So I just hope you like watching. I'm just turning and turning my uh, paper to get the best angle uh, for my brush. And when you try it yourself, you will uh, find out that sometimes it's better to turn your paper than squeal into a position. just easier to do that so it's almost done now a little bit uh, darkening around my flowers almost got the pink and then we've got a purple sky Just a little bit more water again.
uh, no, just a little bit like this. So it's some places I just don't really enjoy watching. So just trying this out. And I think this one is all done. Yes. So, thank you for watching. Give me a those thumbs up and leave a lovely comment below. Subscribe if you aren't yet and enjoy creating because, well, I will. Thank you for watching. Until the next time. Bye.